I just got three things to say. God bless our troops. God bless America. And gentlemen, start your engine. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go from Sonoma, California. Patrick Pieper and Jesse Gordon on the front row. Cody Burke, Brandon Jennings on the second row. Richie Joplin and Chad, Chad Johnson on the third row. Chad Ragsdale, Cody Kennedy on the fourth. Alex Harper and Joshua Nichols round out your top ten. Andrew Thornton starting at 11 next to Garrett Korn in 12th. Austin Ruskov starting in 13th. Ryan Greco in 14th. Jake Archibald in 15th. Kirk Marble in 16th. Nicholas Johnson in 17th. Mark the Man Dan Tuma starts back in 18th. Kyle Reeder in 19th. And Braden Diaz starts in 20th. Bryson Bertrand starts in 21st, Aaron Brill in 22nd. And of course, it is a road course, so we'll have the map up with your driver's numbers on it. You can find your favorite driver numbers there. Pace car is rolling far into the S's to the start finish line. Twenty eight laps here tonight. The drivers have unlimited fast repairs. But they do have incident limits in place. Ace car is in. They head toward the final turn. And here we go out of the final turn. Green flag is in the air. They are down and away at Sonoma. Jesse Gordon quickly into the lead. And yes, Jesse does have a Batman symbol on the hood of that car. Patrick Pieper right behind in second. Brandon Jennings has his hands full with Cody Burke in third. Cody's got the run down to the inside into the braking zone. He might take it. Richie Joplin holds on back in fifth. Chad Ragsdale on the move up to sixth. Alex Harper and Jake Archibald have both had problems. We'll take a look at all the lap one incidents here in a moment. Jesse Gordon and Patrick Pieper nose to tail. Hey, good evening, Aaron. Oh, a little contact through the horseshoe. And Jesse Gordon will lead lap one, but Peeper looked to the outside but doesn't make the move up the hill. Let's take a look and see what happened on lap one. Jake Archibald had a problem here coming up the hill. Just overshoots, goes wide. Very easy to do it. That part of the track recovers quickly. Alex Harper cuts across the nose of Josh Nichols and goes around.
And Brayden Diaz looks like coming down the L. Oh, he just, wow, he overshot it in a big way. Barely kisses the wall. He'll keep going. Cody Burke has gone to second. Looks like there is a car crash back behind. Several drivers have had off tracks, but it looks like Jake Archibald has had multiple problems as there's a battle for second. Jake Archibald coming down into the horseshoe. Oh, gets on the power too soon, gets the tires, then gets hit by a car coming out of the turn. I have a feeling the pit crews will be very, very busy here tonight. Jesse Gordon out front as they come down through the S's. Couple of things worth noting. As I mentioned, unlimited repairs here tonight. But at 20 incident points, you do have to go through pit road. And then every 10 points... After that, and worth noting, an off track is one incident point. Points leader Nicholas Johnson, who got no practice whatsoever, he got like half a lap, he is up seven spots in the tenth. Also, from the look of it, a very experienced road racer. Kirk Marble also up seven spots in the ninth. Kyle Reeder on the move up six spots in the 13th. Mark the man Dan Tuma doing his from the back challenge up three. Bryson Bertrand up four spots. Meanwhile, Jesse Gordon holds a one-second lead over Patrick Pieper, but the veteran Cody Burke, oh, a little smoky, locked up that right rear. Cody Burke is on the move tonight. Chad Ragsdale up to fourth. Richie Joplin still holds on to fifth. Chad Johnson in sixth. Kirk Marble in seventh. Cody Kennedy in eighth. Brandon Jennings is going to pit road. Looks like newcomer Ryan Greg, there's been a couple of incidents. Let's take a look. Starting with the rookie, Ryan Greco gets wide off into the ground. Whoa, close goal. Does get it spinned around and going. Bryson Bertrand also had a problem just moments later. Almost gathered it up, just gave the tire wall a little kiss. He does get the car rolling again. <laughs> hey, Ryan, you're probably right. Now they do have 11 to 13 laps of fuel. Depending on the driver, they will have between 11 and 13 laps on a tank of fuel. So this will be a two-stop race.
The admins are already aware because there is a little trick here. With the unlimited fast repair, the driver could hit pit road and ride the wall, pulling his Shastain around until... Oh, Peeper! Peeper overshot, Cody Burke gets there. As I was saying, a driver could Shastain it through the pit road entry until they got to the speed limit cone, get the car repaired so the admins will be checking for that. Peeper wide again, I think he clipped the wall. And Cody Burke has gone by. Raven Diaz has had a problem. Garrett Corn has had a problem. Oh, Braden just gets on the brakes and the front end snapped completely to the wall. It's like something was broke on the car. Moments later, Garrett Korn coming through the horseshoe. Oh, on the power, snaps loose. We see that every race at Sonoma. Cody Burke now up in the second, trying to close the big lead Jesse Gordon has. Jesse Gordon now has a 3.2 second lead over Cody. Peeper in third, Chad Ragsdale now into fourth. Richie Joplin in fifth, but not for much longer. Here comes Kirk Marble. Braden Diaz and Garrett Corn have both had a problem. Again, Diaz is going to pit road. There's Diaz coming down through the O oh, over, shoots it in the asses, rides the wall. Wow, he went a long way with that one. Garrett Korn once again coming out of the horseshoe. On the power, goes a little wider, still snaps loose. It's interesting, it almost seems as if Brandon Diaz's car had something wrong with it. He has retired from the race. Diaz is out early. Jesse Gordon, meanwhile, out front. His lead is shrinking. Cody Burke is on the attack. Cody does have a bit of an advantage here. Cody raced these cars back in the NR2003 days. That is the same basic software of iRacing. Well, a little kick out. He has had a lot more time in these cars than likely anyone else on track, and it shows. Patrick Peeper in third, losing ground to the top two. Chad Ragsdale in fourth, closing in. Richie Joplin has his hands full. Kirk Marble right on his bumper.
Meanwhile, Nicholas Johnson has now moved up into ninth place. The points leader is on the attack in a big way. We could start seeing pit stops this time by. Well, Jesse Gordon stays out. Cody Burke's going to stay out. Beeper stays out. Ragsdale. Oh, Cody! Co or Kirk Marble gets together with Richie Joplin. Both of them in trouble. Kirk Marble on the attack. Looked like Richie had a little bit of a bobble there as Kirk tried to get to the outside. Looking down from the How to Suck an Eye Racing blip. Oh, Kirk had the nose outside. Richie's little bobble pushed him up and they both Go around. Cody Burke continuing to close the gap on the leader, continues to pull away from Peeper. Peeper is on pit road. Peeper is the first one in the top 15 on pit road. Richie Joplin is back out on track as is Kirk Marble. Cody Kennedy is coming to pit road. Austin Ruskoff is coming in. Alex Harper. Andrew Thornton coming in. Jesse Gordon surprisingly using every bit of the curb tonight. Jesse's car may need to go through post-race inspection to see if he has any Batmobile equipment on it as he comes in, Cody Burke right behind. Chad Ragsdale is going to stay out. Hey, good evening to the beautiful unicorn, Angie. Patrick Peeper, one of the top, or the top five, one of the driver, the first driver in the top five. Boy, my brain stopped. First driver in the top five to head to pit road. As the cars ahead just now coming off pit road. Josh Nichols moves aside as he loses ground. Peeper gains a little bit of ground. Kirk Marble on the attack. While he was on pit road, he did get repairs, tires, and fuel. Chad Ragsdale scored as the leader for the moment, but he is headed in. Jesse Gordon coming out of the S's toward the uh, horseshoe.
Cody Burke sitting in third. Peeper in fourth. Brandon Jennings now in fifth. Kirk Marble back up into sixth. Nicholas Johnson, man. Nicholas Johnson up to seventh. He took fuel only on his pit stop. Chad Johnson back in eighth. Cody Kennedy in ninth. Richie Joplin back up into tenth. Great recovery for Cody and Richie. Kirk Marble just set the fastest lap of the race. 117.65. Jesse Gordon, after the cycle of stops, has reclaimed the lead a little drifty. Man, they are coming out of the S's sideways. Watch fourth place, Chad Ragsdale. Ragsdale, oh, we've got a wreck back behind. Someone just went hard into the wall. I believe that was Kyle Reeder. Kyle Reeder right in front of Brandon Jennings coming out of the asses. Looks like Jennings just a hair faster got into his bumper. Reeder went for one heck of a spin. And Jesse Gordon just set a new fastest lap. 117.13 Man, they are hanging it all out. Despite those very fast laps, the one car not up losing ground is Cody Burke. He has stayed right with the leader. Patrick Peeper is held on to third most of the night. Is back wide away. Chad Ragsdale in fourth. And Brandon Jennings in pit road in fifth. And I think Jennings can go the distance from here on fuel. Garrett Corn has had a problem. Derek Horn so far has had a smooth night, but overshoots entry on the horseshoe. Gets into the tire. Holy cow. Got into the tire wall, spun, and hit that tire barrier. And Cody Burke has set the fastest lap. 116.75. Burke, the only driver under the 117 mark. Burke continuing to close in on the leader, Jesse Gordon. Nicholas Johnson continuing his impressive march to the front. With no practice coming into this thing. Nicholas now up six or up eleven spots into six plates. Kirk Marble, who's second in points, not far ahead of Johnson. You have to wonder, can he get there? as Cody Kennedy has had a problem.
Cody Kennedy headed down in the horseshoe. We've seen so many problems right here. Richie goes wide, gets into him. Austin Ruskov also had a problem a moment ago. Down into the hole on the brakes. Oh, what a hard hit right in the driver's door. Ouch. Cody Burke is hit pit road. This will be his final stop. Everybody is within the window. Patrick Peeper now back up in the second. Ragsdale in third. Kirk Marble in fourth. Cody Burke already off pit road. Four tires and fuel. And Cody Kennedy has had another problem. Cody coming out of the S. It snaps loose. What a spin. Almost saves it. Richie John or no, Mark Dan Tuba barely getting by, and Cody comes to pit road. Jesse Gordon in for his final stop. Peeper staying out will take the lead. Kirk Marble is coming in as well for his final stop. Cody Burke has been the fastest so far tonight. This might be his opportunity to close the gap quite a bit. Patrick Peeper now out front. Chad Ragsdale in second. Both drivers still have to come in. Chad Johnson also on pit road along with Kirk Marble. Peeper continues to stay out. Ragsdale has a problem in the ass as he's in the wall. There's Ragsdale coming down through the S's. Looks like he might have just gotten too much of the rumble strip. Got on the power and the car just went straight to the wall. Ragsdale back on pit road for repairs. Meanwhile, Patrick Peeper up front. Still has to complete his final stop. Jesse Gordon, who has led most of the night, 30 or 23 seconds back, has completed his stop. Cody Burke sits in third. Richie Joplin now in fourth. Richie needs to complete his stop as well. Hope you're feeling better today, Kevin. Peeper stays out, continuing to stretch the fuel. turn 
Remember, Patrick still has to come to Pit Road. Richie Joplin in for his final stop. Chad Ragsdale in again. Ragsdale has had another problem. Chad obviously had heavy damage after that incident. And I am not sure where else Trying to see where exactly... Oh! Ragsdale was pretty banged up. But hits the wall several times. Patrick Pieper still has not been in. Seven laps to go. Jesse Gordon is closing the gap. Alex Harper now in for his final stop. Now we have seen, here it comes. No, he stayed out. We have seen a couple of drivers pit fuel only. Patrick Pieper could very well make his final stop, a very short fuel-only stop, and might be able to keep the rest of the field behind him. Trying to find out how Ragsdale's car got so beat up, he comes out of pit road, Watch part of Ragsdale's outlap and see if we can figure out what happened. Whoa, well, close call at the far end of the track. Some of these drivers really pushing it to the outside. That's what happened. He gets loose, smacks the heck out of that wall. Peeper is in. It's a splash and go. Jesse Gordon has gone to the lead. Peeper now in second, Cody Burke into third. Kirk Marble now has fourth, Brandon Jennings in fifth. Andrew Thornton, oh, Thornton tries to come to pit road with five to go. Andrew's forgotten how to drive on pit road, obviously. Cody Burke closing back in on Patrick Pieper. Meanwhile, Jesse Gordon, big lead, 5.8 seconds.
Kirk Marble back in fourth. Brandon Jennings holds fifth. Nicholas Johnson in sixth has had an awesome night. No practice, yet he comes out here and has one heck of a race. Chad Johnson now in seventh. Richie Joplin holds on to eighth. Alex Harper in ninth. Mark the man Dan Tuma up to tenth. Andrew Thornton in eleventh after his catastrophic pit road entry. Cody Kennedy has drifted back into 12th. Austin Ruskoff in 13th. Chad Ragsdale out of the race in 14th. Josh Nichols out in 15th. We've got several cars that have called it a day. Three laps to go for Jesse Gordon. Peeper still holding on to second, but Cody Bird right on, whoop, right on his back bumper. Kirk Marble weighs back in third. Brandon Jennings eight seconds back in fourth. Nicholas or in fifth rather, Nicholas Johnson. Another 16 seconds back in six, Chad Johnson. Another nine seconds back in seventh. He might have to worry. Richie Joplin is closing in. Alex Harper holds on to ninth. Dan Tuma in tenth. So the big battle now, right now, is for second place between Peeper and Burke. And back behind, Chad Johnson and Richie Joplin. Those are the two closest battles at the moment. Richie definitely hanging it all out. Cody Burke had a couple of off tracks on the last lap. He is now trying to regain the ground he lost. Jesse Gordon holding his lead about 5.8 seconds at the moment. White flag is in the air one more time around for Jesse Gordon. And a dominating, impressive performance here tonight when so many drivers struggled. Even the best of the best had problems tonight. Jesse Gordon has kept that car clean, pointed the right way. And out of trouble. Cody Burke trying to close the gap. May not get there. Chad Johnson has a safe distance on Richie Joplin. And here he comes. Jesse Gordon through the S's. Heads it, takes it down to the horseshoe one more time. 
after a dominant race here at Sonoma, Jesse Gordon has been untouchable. Out of the final turn, a little drift, Jesse Gordon wins at Sonoma. Hey, good evening, Moose. Patrick Pieper comes home in second, holding off a hard-charging third place by Cody Burke. All right, let's see if we can talk to our top three, starting with third place, Cody Burke. Hey, Cody, it's Doug. You got me? Hey, Cody, it's Doug up in the booth. You got me? Well, it does not look like we can get a word with third place Cody Burke, so let's see if we can talk to second place Patrick Peeper. Patrick, uh, another road course race and another great podium finish. Yeah, no, I'm happy with second. I was expecting third because I wasn't sure if my strategy was going to work with really stretching the uh, fuel on that second run. Uh, but I ended up staying out ahead of Cody, which was pretty good. I mean, it was cool to lead a few chunk of laps, too. But, yeah, no, I, could, I had nothing for Jesse. It's funny because Jesse tries to play it off like he can't do road courses, but he's a figure eight driver in real life, so he knows he knows about turning left and right. So uh, he did a great job today. I mean, there, I, like I said, I had nothing on him, but I'm happy with second, though. Well, man, you had one heck of a run tonight. Great strategy. Congratulations, buddy. All right, here, I'm going to hit the jump for you. Oh, going to get another shot of the jump. Peeper did do impressive earlier, does he? Oh, wasn't bad. <laughs> Great job, buddy. <laughs> Thanks, Doug. Peeper, work on that. And finally, our winner, Jesse Gordon. Jesse, that was a really dominant performance. The only time they got close to you, it seems like when you were in uh, pit road, and it seemed like you were just toying with them. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, you know, I mean... It was all just different strategies, um, but I was just trying to see what strategy, if they were going to come in a lap early, I was going to come in the lap after them, and uh, it really depended if you were going to split that last uh, segment after the first pit stop, if you are going to split it in half directly, or just pit when you can and get fresh tires. So, yeah, all in all, it was, uh, it was a good race, man, with uh, Patrick and uh, Cody up there, and uh, just kind of hitting our marks and not trying to make mistakes. Well, it definitely worked out. You had one heck of a run, and you did an amazing job sticking the landing on the uh, on the jump there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I figured I'd give the uh, jump in turn one a try and see if I could make it into the crowd. And uh, I was close, but yeah, we're hanging on the fence right now. Well, a great job in the race, a great job on the jump. Congratulations, buddy. Thank you. Yeah, it was a blast. Thank you guys uh, for uh, broadcasting. It's awesome. Jesse Gordon pulls off the win at Sonoma. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hope everybody had as much fun as we did. Don't forget, tomorrow we're going to be trucking most of the day, so make sure you come back for that. Thank you guys so much. Have a great night, everybody.